acabou. So what's up guys, it's late in the day and I'm just kind of getting started, sort of, um, at least on the video proportion of the day. I've been getting a lot of things ready, Jeez. so I got a late start today, only on the videoing. I want to say a big thank you to all you guys that have uh, ordered a shirt to help save the EF, so things are going good, so um, check out my last video if you didn't see that. I'm trying to save the EF, uh, you can pick up a shirt if you want to help uh, support that build. Other than that. What is going on right now? Well, there's something that I've had in the works for the last couple weeks, and well, now but the last week and a half, and it seems like it's going to work out. I just got a text and a confirmation a couple hours ago that it is happening, it is going down, that we are doing it, it's official. So let's hope all goes well. So right now I'm kind of checking over everything and making sure that the car is good, uh, the EJ1. Uh, because it has a date. We'll get more into that later, but uh, right now I'm just kind of test driving the car, making sure everything's good, everything does seem good. Gone over everything, checked all the bolts, made sure everything is tight on the car. I mean, I just drove the car back from Florida and uh, Atlanta, so, you know, the car should be good to uh, make um, a road trip tomorrow for its date. I also figured out why my speedometer is jumping around. So, I'm just sitting here and the speedometer is just jumping around. So I just figured out here a second ago why the speedometer is jumping around and the reason why is that there's actually water and old coolant down in the speed sensor. So I need to kind of take that apart and clean it out because I was actually having an issue with the needle kind of jumping around before and I thought it was the cluster. But uh, seems to be the actual sensor itself has got some uh, liquid down in there. So. Um, that's one thing I'm going to try to knock out and take care of. I think I'm going to head back to the shop and do a little driving before I get back to the shop. Just to go over this thing uh, one last time. Just taking it for a drive. So good morning, it's Wednesday morning, and today the EJ1 is finally having its date, but I've got about a two hour drive ahead of me. Let's get to it. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll probably be able to find out what's going on first. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. Instagram is a lot more um, immediate as far as knowing what's going on. So I'm gonna Instagram story the whole day. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're almost a few minutes away from our destination. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going or what to expect, so be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've made it to the secret location. The secret lair. The secret lair. I'm helping out this young upstart YouTuber. I need help. No, I'm just joking, honestly. I, I just got an unknown call. Oh no, I have a phone call. Uh -oh. Business call. He's got a business call. Anyway, let's take a look at his nice young cars. Young cars? So this is David's 2-4. How's everything going? He's on the phone right now. Handling business. So this is the Smurf. And today he's gonna be reviewing my car, which I'm very excited about. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am for this. So, um, we're about to go review my car and uh, you know, hang out for the day. So far, David seems pretty cool and his cars are pretty damn nice. Hey, I got this on sale. I'm selling this on the black market for $300. It's David's personal. Yeah. So this is David's infamous 240. I love the color of this car.
Well, that's it. David uh, just reviewed my car. We had lunch together. We got to talk. He's a super nice guy. Can't thank him enough for uh, uh, reviewing my car and allowing to hang out with me for a while. Um, big thank you to David for this video, basically. Um, so be checking out his channel for the review on my car. So Haji over here is going to listen to me ramble on about my experience today, which was super awesome. I can't thank David enough uh, for you know allowing me to come down and hang out with him and review my car. I can tell you guys that it's super, super fun. He's actually a really cool dude. And uh, we went to lunch, got to hang out and talk, you know, just really talk about cars, talk about life, talk about being YouTubers. And it was really fun and refreshing to be able to talk to someone like that who has a lot of experience. I learned quite a bit from him, actually. All I can say is that if you're out there and you've ever had him review your car, uh, just, the, just the hospitality that he showed was really, really great. Um, I, the experience honestly is something that I won't forget and hopefully we'll be able to work together you know in the future on his Integra and stuff like that we were talking about that talked a lot about um, you know the build and you know I, I can't think a lot of the sponsors that have had enough you know Brian from Hossport, uh Robert from Hush Performance JB from JB Tuned uh, all the guys at MPC, Spencer, you know, AFHK parts uh, for the axles and, you know, check out VTech Academy. Also, Lazy Man Garage, he also was a big integral part to this car because he sent me the S2000 gauge cluster and was one of the big things that uh, David really liked about the car was the S2000 gauge cluster. And just driving around with him in the car you know, it was just a lot more fun than I thought. And honestly, there's probably a few scenes in his video where he's just nailing it down these back roads, and I don't know these roads at all. And there's probably like the look of kind of fear on my face because I'm just like, oh, I mean, because I just didn't know the roads um, and he clearly knew them pretty well. But the experience was great. He had a lot of compliments for the car and he said that he was going to be honest and not really hide anything of what he thought. And there really wasn't much negativity that he said about the car, which was like really gratifying for me just to know that, you know, I've basically touched you know, just about every nut and bolt on the car. The car did great, drove down there two hours, and he reviewed it, kind of beat on it. And then I uh, drove home, got to have lunch with him and Alejandro, and they are both so nice and genuine and honest. It was just a lot of fun, and I've got like nothing but um, a great experience from it. So look for his video that will be coming out, uh, the review of my car. I don't know how long it'll be before he uh, puts that out. Can't thank David enough and everybody else. I was glad I got the opportunity to have that happen. So make sure you go subscribe to his channel because his channel is awesome. He does lots of car reviews and uh, has a couple builds. I got to get a real up and close and personal look at Smurf and the uh, 2J uh, Swap 240. I want to say thank you all so much for all the support that you've given me. 70,000 subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for picking up some of the EF Civic shirts. It's really helping things out and probably the EF Civic will be able to stick around if they keep selling the way they do. If you're interested in one, link is in the description. Uh, they're available in six different colors as well as I have a couple other shirts and the, uh, the RPM hoodie. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Once again, David Patterson as well. I'm a copy Zaj. If you like this video, smack that like button. I just stole Zaj's whole thing uh because my car so clean if you like this video click like click subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video peace out keep living your dream <laughs>